Welcome back. Between 60 to 80 percent of all Americans will have some lower back pain at some point in their lives. And annular tears are often the culprit. Now, these tears are injuries that develop in the discs, that so-called shock absorbers, cushioning the vertebrae in the spine. Now, orthopedic specialists are using a minimally invasive procedure to heal the tears in those discs. Neil Barr spends hours on his feet and on his bike. He's a triathlete, and endurance training keeps him mentally and physically fit. It's a test of human spirit. But more than two decades of chronic back pain caused by a congenital condition tested his limits. Then, four years ago, more pain. But this time, it was very different. It was right on the bone or right in the disc. Neil had an annular tear in a spinal disc, and the material inside his disc was leaking out, causing inflammation. Neil wanted to avoid a spinal fusion, which would have limited his movement. Sports medicine specialist Dr. Brian Scheipel recommended a regenerative procedure called the disc heal. Doctors take a synthetic material called fibrin and inject it into the damaged disc. It becomes like thick glue that they use to seal things instead of maybe they reinforce sutures or instead of sutures. The fibrin encourages the growth of new tissue, causing the disc tear to close up so the pain goes away. At the two-month mark, he was pain-free and training hard. Neil is preparing for his first post-COVID race with a back that feels as good as new. Back to just being thankful that I can, I can get on the saddle without any pain. Wow, that is life-changing. So Fibrin was first approved by the FDA for use in facial reconstruction, repairing the spleen and controlling cardiac bleeding during surgery because it heals tissues that can't be sutured. Fibrin is used off-label to repair discs, like just told in that story. Now, healthcare providers sometimes prescribe drugs off-label when they feel it's medically appropriate. The issue here, discal procedure, it is not covered by insurance, and it's pricey. $14,500 to $15,500, that would come out of pocket.